You know, it feels really good to complete a collection. And today I just finished two Pokemon collections that I've been working on for a while. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Let me take you on a tour. I'm breaking down my wall of booster boxes to show you exactly what I completed, how much I spent, how much I could make if I happen to sell this today. And I also got a surprise in this package right here. It is a booster box, but it's one that doesn't actually fit into this collection. Any guesses? Well, here's a clue. It's from the year 2000 and it's not from Wizards of the Coast. Stick around and I'll show you what it is. Oh, and actually, you know what? There's a lot of screaming and yelling here on YouTube. Oh my gosh, we pulled a Froki. Sorry. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk. We're just gonna show off the product with some fancy editing, some cool music, and you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the collection. All right, so those are the complete Sun and Moon and XY series booster box master sets. There's some other sets like Generations and things that don't have booster boxes and I didn't count those here, but we're now in the Sword and Shield era and I've been picking up a few boxes here and there as we go along. So I'm all cut up there too. So the question is, what era should I collect next? You go back in time, it's black and white, then heart gold sold silver. Uh, and then there's the random Call of Legends series with only one set in it. I mean, there's a lot. And the further back we go, the more expensive it's gonna be. But as you can see, we're definitely in the plus with our box purchases here, more so in the XY era, primarily because it's the first one I started collecting. So I got in early before the prices got up. My flash fire box, for example, has already doubled in price, which is really, really cool. Oh, and of course, I gotta flex the nerdy spreadsheet. And finally, this takes us to this package right here, a special booster box that I bought for $2,000 back in November of 2020, which recently sold for a whopping $7,100 in auction just a couple weeks ago. Tops Pokemon, the movie 2000 sealed booster box, which features some amazing holographic first appearance Pokemon cards and an actual frame from the movie encased in a card. Very hard to find these days, so this then begs the question, do we keep it sealed or do we open it and chase that famed Ghost Lugia card? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and tell me which of the booster boxes you've seen here today that you would like to take home to. Hope you enjoyed this video. Click on the next one that's on the screen right now and I'll see you in that one.